This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You are your greatest asset. It's time you started investing in that. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash double toasted and take care of you. All right, well, calm down. You, no, man, no. You're, you're, you're being all defensive. See and, you all <laughs> judging me, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm like the Celestials. I have to decide whether you get to continue to live or not. <laughs> no, I don't care what people think. No, it's not that. I, I, like I said, I think, and I, I, I know you have some criticisms, and I respect the criticism that people have with it. I see those criticisms. The only one that I really, really had a problem with is when people said, I don't see this as a Marvel movie. Hey everybody, Double Toasted Live on Tour is heading to Los Angeles, California, November 5th. We're going to be at the Miracle Room, and we had such an amazing show in New York. Had such a great experience. I want to thank everybody for that. But we can't wait to bring the same experience to you over in the lovely city of Los Angeles. So go to x1entertainment.com and get your tickets today. VIP and super VIP tickets are available, so get them now. But we're not just stopping there. Hey, as I said, this is a tour. So also catch us in Chicago, Miami, Orlando, and Dallas, Texas. Again, go to x1entertainment.com and get your tickets today. And we'll see you at a city near you. Hey, everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. And I'm going to start this review out saying something that I never say at the beginning okay. of a review. Okay. Don't listen to me. People are like, don't worry, we're one step ahead of you, man. <laughs> 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 Way ahead of you on that, <laughs> actually. <laughs> you don't have to tell us. <laughs> wow, you late to the party, ain't you? been doing that for years. <laughs> but really, people, I mean it, man. You know, I... I I tell people to not listen to me anyway because I, I'm not tell, I'm not trying to tell people what to watch yeah. or what to do with these reviews. You know, I told you, man. I'm just I'm just a humble man right here, just expressing my opinion in a humorous way that I just simply hope will entertain you. I don't care if you appreciate my opinion or not. But my ego will, will not allow you to <laughs> begin. Don't listen to me. But, but with, you're doing it this time. But I'm doing you're breaking it. Breaking protocol. And I mean it, man. Do not, do not listen to me at all. And I say that at this moment now because for this movie that we're about to talk about, Eternals. Now, I don't like to look at early reviews on things, but there were so many of them coming out and so many of them were just popping up online for the news sources that I go to that I just went in and, and, and took a look. And... The, as they say, the people are split. Damn. I remember Marvel used to bring people together. That's true. <laughs> Not even Marvel Not is even dividing that. people, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've heard so many different things about this from triumphantly different to worst Marvel movie ever. Oh, brother. You know, I, <laughs> I say don't listen to me because I fall heavily on one side. Heavily? Of this. Yes. Oh, okay. One side or the other. Okay. Which side is that? You know, because, you know, I, I listen, I don't want to say anything because I fall so heavily on, on one side of this. I don't want people thinking that I told you one thing or the other and then you like, Man, I saw this. Why did I ever listen to you? You don't know what you're talking about. That's the kind of movie it is. That's true. You I mean, I mean we, we, yeah, we, we have been hitting more of these movies where it's like, look, son, this is how I felt about it. Yes. But, but if you asking me, should you see it? Don't. Yeah, I'm not. Because I don't want to hear it. Where I'll fall on this, well, we'll find out. But I, I never, I'm not telling. This is the one. I'm saying do not bring your bullshit to me. Because I didn't, what are the words that I start out with? Don't listen to me. You go and make up your own decision and keep that shit to yourself. After it's done. Unlike me, I'm going to spread my word to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly, what side of this movie, Eternals, the one that's splitting, now splitting Marvel fans. Marvel's used, Marvel fans used to, they used to look at DC and be like, those motherfuckers. 
there. <laughs> to hell with them. Right? Am I right, guys? Boom! <laughs> but now Marvel fans are kind of looking at each other and just kind of going, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So let's go ahead and look at this. <laughs> Even Marvel fans are split up now. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trailer right here for Eternals. And we'll be back with, oh, oh, the suspense is killing us. What side do you fall on? Well, you'll find out with our review after this. Man, the same one was in Dune, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> She's getting some work right now. She's got a good agent. <laughs> Anytime you got some empty space, some dirt, a lot of grass. <laughs> Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. How long do we have? Seven days. Shit. Yeah, I know. Right? Well, what fuck? It, yeah, that, you, boy, you just now telling me? <laughs> nothing says shit like that look right there. Yeah, he, he's like, we've been on this goddamn planet for 4,000 years, and now you just, you telling just me this? Just now? <laughs> Damn, you, I don't know. You, why aren't you telling me this four centuries I ago? Meant, I meant to say something a thousand years ago, but it slipped my mind. I had to fight for the God. <laughs> After this movie being labeled anything from a disappointment, a huge disappointment, to a triumph, where do I stand with this film? Well, people, I am Team Eternals, baby. And I'm gonna tell you now, let me stand up here saying that I'm heavily on this side might be a little bit of an exaggeration. But you know, I'm just I'm I'm saying this because I'm aware that this movie is divisive and a lot of people are and this is another thing. When you sit up here and say that you like something that people are looking forward to failing, mm -hmm. because some people are like, take that Marvel. Oh. And it's about time you've been right, right. it's about time you've been put in your place. You know, people are gonna say you just you, 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 again, you just a Marvel bitch. You just love Marvel no matter what they do. Even though I enjoyed one of the most heavily ridiculed and heavily criticized DC movies, which was Justice League. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, people like it now. They like it now, but back in the day when yeah. it came out, when yeah. it first came out, yeah. when that Joss Whedon one, yeah. which I said I enjoyed, yeah. I, you know, that was that was a bold thing to do. Man. <laughs> I, hey, man. <laughs> I was I was brave. It was it was bold to like a movie with Superman in it. It was bold like a shitty movie with Superman. <laughs> Cause I told you the movie's no good, but I said I like it, man. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I said I think it's serving a purpose. Right, right. I kind of still stand by it a little bit. I know it's some terrible, terrible stuff in there. Maybe I just like movies where a bunch of superheroes get together in a team and just beat the shit out of stuff. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you, people, I'm not that tribalistic with anything. I don't watch anything to see it fail. I don't watch anything to say. I told you so. I got you. I don't watch anything to rub anything in anybody's face, man. That's but, but my entertainment is between me and myself, unless I'm doing a review. But I don't care if people like something or not, and I'm not getting defensive about this. I'm just saying I'm not tribalistic about this. You know, I'm not that person who's loving this because, oh, it's so artsy, or, oh, it's Marvel, and I'm just going to give it a pass on anything. No, man. You know, and here's the other thing. I respect all the criticism that this is getting because I understand I understand a lot of it, but some I don't, and I want those are the things I want to address. You know, uh, first of all, the plot with this because everybody's talking about man, dense. <laughs> There's the plot right there. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that's a lot of plot. <laughs> well, that's some thick ass plot right there. Uh, okay, yeah, it, I would say that it can be dense. You know, just in a nutshell, right here, Eternals. They are godlike beings. They've been on Earth for four centuries, I believe. And seven, they, they just said. Did they say seven? So yeah. seven centuries, y'all. And they've seen they've seen a lot of shit go down. You know, they've been told by their boss, who is a celestial, which he just looks like a big red action figure in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Big, <laughs> <laughs> hanging out with Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, he's just a big old red <laughs> red rock action figure mm -hmm. in, the, in, in, in space. Uh, he's told them to, no matter how bad it gets down on Earth, no matter what kind of crazy stuff you see, what kind of atrocities you witness, do not interfere. If you do, then humans won't advance 
as they should. I think that's why people don't like this movie because everybody got a grudge against the Eternals. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, so you you saw Hitler? You didn't do you didn't do shit? Okay, all right. Could have told us about them slave boats coming. Yeah. No, you just sat there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we we could not interfere. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> That's real convenient. Yeah, they burning witches. Y'all out here with weenies and s'mores and shit. Okay, cool. Y'all don't want to say nothing, huh? Well, hey, they said, man, don't do nothing. <laughs> I mean, I would go over there, but, you know. Hey, man. Hey, I get I get paid to shut the f up. <laughs> I don't want to get fired. <laughs> Big man says stay out of it. I stay out of it, man. I don't say shit. <laughs> so you didn't do a goddamn thing about Hitler. When you, you saw him talking about, I that I, 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 shit, you didn't say nothing. Okay, all right, cool. Y'all, man, <laughs> wait for your movie to come out. <laughs> I don't know if people <laughs> look at it that way. They mad, man. I'm mad. I'm mad. You saw us Negroes be putting chains, and y'all just sat there and didn't do a goddamn thing. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll wait for your movie to come out, man. You see, you, when well, you want me to say something bad, uh, good about you, you want me to get your back. We'll see how I mean, it is. You would think at least the one of the two black Eternals would have been so, would have said like, "All right, I'm gonna I'm quickly step in." Man. Oh shit, I gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll treat white folks like this. I gotta do something. <laughs> You'd be like, bring your black ass. <laughs> <laughs> They've been told not to do anything because humans have to advance for a particular reason. So they just have to sit back and just watch. But a secret is revealed after, after, after seven centuries of seeing humans be shitty to each other that makes them finally say, you know what, maybe we should do something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, better late than better never. Better late than never, man. I hey. mean, and and you know, even if it is a week before the Earth is going to be destroyed, one week. <laughs> uh, you know what it was like? Goddamn! Oh, right, that's right. Oh. I live here. Oh shit! We all oh, y'all did y'all. No one thought about that. Oh, is that coming up this week? Oh damn! All right, all right, all right. Ooh, okay. How about God? There's so many things. I, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> so all this time, y'all don't watch people be putting concentration camps, Negroes getting their ass whooped. But yeah. when but when it comes down to y'all, <laughs> it's like, oh well, shit. Well, yeah, well, well, guys, we're gonna be homeless if we don't do something. <laughs> I kind of come to life this place, man. Shit, I got a fine ass side piece. I better do something about that. <laughs> and they say, well, let's get the band back together. And even though we've made our own way through life, even though we got our own things going. Maybe, maybe we can pull together one more time to save the world, regardless of what the, the employee handbook says. <laughs> you know, now, my, my thing with this is that there are problems with this movie, and I'm happy to point them out. But some of the things that I thought that uh, some people might have, you know, I disagree with, is that, one, a lot of people have been saying, it's not a Marvel movie. And now this has been a, a praise and a criticism. There's a lot of people. It's been it's a lot of people talking about. It's it's, it's so it's so different, and this like I said, no. it's being praised and criticized. Now, I don't see that at all. It's, it seemed very much a Marvel movie to me. This was very to, to me. This is very much a Marvel movie. I, right down to like almost sticking to the formula that they got because everybody mm. thought. The yeah. director that they have now, oh, she's going to do her own thing. She's came off some Academy Awards, and she's an artist. And yeah, yeah, yeah you're an artist. But here, <laughs> you're here, right? right but right. here, yeah, yeah. you a worker. Yeah, once, once you, you sign that piece of paper, <laughs> you you get in the program. Yes. Yeah, go, you go we, do your art somewhere else. Yeah, this is what we have outlined for you. So as long as you hit those things and don't deviate, yeah. everything will be everything. Chloe's out. Everybody thought, oh, she'll, she'll bring some culture to Marvel. And Marvel's like, all right, <laughs> it's cool. Well, what's funny is how people are in their own head injecting her, <laughs> her putting herself into this movie. And I was like, y'all need to stop. There's a lot of criticism of this that people are given that I think is even and, and a lot of praise that pe people are giving this that I think is I think they're off the mark with it. And the, that the biggest one is this is not a Marvel movie. This is very much a Marvel movie. It's a it's a long ass Marvel movie. Say what you will about the story, but it has a lot of action, a lot of big action, the kind of action where they. With, like when, in every in every superhero movie, they tear shit up. <laughs> People gonna be homeless for about two yeah. weeks. Car insurance companies gonna be called crazily the next day. 
Traffic's going to be bad for the next two months. And the people who caused it are going to walk off and not give a second thought and to it. And not give a about it. They ain't going to watch people die and even crack jokes right afterwards. <laughs> they ain't going to care. But I'm telling y'all, man, the way the movie even starts out, at the beginning, they start the movie, you think about five minutes into the movie, they are heavy into action, man. Look, where we are! <laughs> Evening, ladies. Bitch, how long you been standing back there? I know. <laughs> yeah, that fool been back there just waiting like, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait to make a good entrance. <laughs> nah, I, I just bought this new coat. <laughs> okay. I, I've worked on this walk. <laughs> Y'all look at this fool. Everybody out there sweating and fighting and he's hair, every hair in place. Yeah. He ain't rushing to get out. Mm -mm. Bitch, you been waiting on this, ain't you? <laughs> get your ass. Just, man, this shit, shut up. You know, this is something where in the beginning, they, Marvel has a formula, man, where it's like, all right, you know, we got to get people pulled into to the action mm -hmm. right at the start. So, you know, they, 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 it's so much a Marvel movie that they, that they are following Marvel's formula almost with their pacing. Sometimes they have movies where the pacing is off because with this, you know, it's, it's typical spectacle, but it's spaced out well enough that I think the pace is not bad for a movie that's two and a half hours. There's so much action in here. And that's what I thought when people said it was different from a Marvel movie. I thought they just went, they, they had tons of, of space and time span where they were just doing drama. Mm -hmm. And that's not what they're doing yeah. here. There's a lot of action in this. You really don't get any more superhero than this <laughs> right here. I mean, this, they're doing the same thing that the Avengers do, man. They're fighting as a team. You know, they come together with their superpowers. Some people might think they do it better than the Avengers. Some people might not. But they do, you know, they do a lot of it. Now, I thought some of the fight scenes were actually pretty cool. I actually enjoyed a lot of them. Now, again, not saying anything about character or anything like that, but I mean, if you're going into it looking for some cool special effects and some cool fight scenes, I tell you, I'm kind of partial to seeing superhero teams fight anyway. I thought that they actually did it pretty well in here in some parts. You know, I thought if you want to deliver spectacle to people, you go ahead and do that then. You know, uh, some heroes I thought were pretty bad. Angelina Jolie, I thought that she was really cool as the character Athena. You know, also one of the most dangerous because she's out of a f***ing mind. Yeah. <laughs> but as with any kind of superhero movie, it's cool to see them all work together with their specific powers. And because they are godlike in this, of course, you know, they have, like, the craziest powers out of all the heroes that we have seen. So, you know, I mean, again, not saying that they, you should like them or not, but as far as saying this is not a Marvel movie, I, I, now that I did not understand. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't get that either. I think that if you pay attention, now there are flaws in the story, but as far as being hard to follow, a little corny maybe, some flaws here and there, yes, but I don't think it's hard to follow. For me, it actually made the MCU make more sense. Oh, is that right? Yeah, because with this, this is the, this is uh, the, the, the history of the Marvel Universe, mm -hmm. really. That's why this is so dense. It's the history of the Marvel Universe leading up to what we have right now. It's the backstory to the Marvel Universe, sort of like Genesis in a mm -hmm. way. You know, the Celestials creating the, all the life that we see before us, including the human beings on Earth. Uh, the, the Celestials are, they, you know, what they're there to create universes, planets, and whatnot. And when they do that, it explained to me, oh, that's why. I'm talking about this like it's real. I'm just saying the Marvel Universe is fun and all that, but that's why there's so many humanoid aliens. Mm -hmm. That's why English is so commonly spoken amongst people, unless they're wearing like an interpreter, you know, like some interpretive machine or something. Um, you know, that, that explains, you know, uh, Thor's world. You know, that, 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 you know that, that actually, why these, some, some of these things are so colorful, because now they made the whole Jack Kirby aesthetic of things kind of come together under these under this history and under these uh these gods here the celestials and also you know look that's gonna mess with a lot of people who are very religious <laughs> yeah i was just like man if you're religious this is not the movie for you this is straight up blasphemy <laughs> no they pretty much said this is yeah <laughs> yeah like you believe in god because yeah. nah, that's not real we this is we're god right here 
Marvel's trying to make it to where after the nuclear war, man somehow survives, and we come back and try to put things back together, we gonna be praying to this bitch right mm-hmm. here. It's going Genesis is gonna be the Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah. and all the comic books. They trying to they, they actually try to rewrite religion. So if you hey, <laughs> without coming out and saying it, but yeah. it's it's pretty much right there. Cause that's the, they are responsible. God, Jesus, oh no, that's a man made shit right there. No. These are the real deals, right? Mm-hmm. These are the OGs. <laughs> so if you're religious, that's another thing that's going to make it not like this movie because they pretty much say the hell with that shit. What you believe, that's stupid. <laughs> no, man, that's it right there. You know, I think what makes people think that this is so different is it does probably have a lot more scenes of drama, you know, because we've been seeing so many Marvel movies where they're, they're lighthearted. Sure. You know, and we've seen drama in the form of, okay, Peter Parker, he's dying, and Tony Stark had a funeral. But these movies really are lighthearted in a way. This one is probably a little more leaning on drama than your average Marvel movie. And in that way, I think it is different. You know, I think, you know, the, the, that, the, but the feeling of it being different is pushed by Cl- uh, Chloe Zhao, the director here, because a lot of people who know her work, and this whole thing has been set up to where, She's going to come in and do her own thing. Ain't no, that mouse ain't letting nobody come in and do their own thing. Are you fucking stupid? Mouse ain't letting nobody come in and do their own thing. But they're half expecting the drama and the level of, of, the, of her movie. Mm-hmm. Nomadland. You are one of those lucky people that can travel anywhere. Yes, ma'am. I know. And they sometimes call you nomads. You know what? The, the, if you didn't know that she was the director, you, would, you, you wouldn't know any different. No. It could be, it's, it's, she's really not that much different from any of the other directors that have come in, except for one thing. I think that probably this is one of the best looking Marvel movies that they've had. I think the cinematography is amazing. I've, I've had this problem with Marvel for a long time where the movies are, you know, they, 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 got, they got the money in there, but everything is so bright. Mm-hmm. Almost flat in a way, it's so bright. You know, it does, it, all the movies are starting to like not really. There might be an artistic design that goes on, but the cinematography is so bright, it's so colorful now, you know, and I thought like, okay, this is this is something where we're getting a little bit of a different feel as far as the cinematography goes. That right there does make this feel different from any other Marvel movie. Now, whether you like this movie or not, I do hope that they kind of put an emphasis on cinematography for some of the other movies on this level right here. Yeah, it, it you know, it is epic in scale, and it does pay attention to the cinematography more so, much more so than their other movies that are just really just kind of going. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. I, I, and the humor is still there. The, you know, the, both, uh, both, both in how it works for Marvel a lot and both in its fault. Like you were saying, man. Like, you know, I'm looking at a scene where, and this, it fits, the, the humor here fits within most Marvel movies. Like I said, you know, with the same problems. You know, with the same awkward moments. Just we just saw a human get eaten, and Kumal and Kamel. K- K- Kamel and then Johnny as uh, King uh, as Kingo, right after somebody dies, they they they, they bring in a funny, mm-hmm. cracking jokes. Although I did love his character, I loved what they did with it. I actually thought that character was very funny. I'm not going to tell you what it is that he does with his life, but his life has taken a certain turn. I thought it was hilarious, him and his Indian Alfred that he had in there. <laughs> that that made me laugh. Brian Tyree Henry was another one where he had dry humor, and I thought that that worked in this. Uh, I really enjoyed his dry humor a lot. It might, it might get to a point where people are going to start hearing a controversy about his character. I think that, that uh, I even saw, it got to a point with his character in the movie, I think I saw two people walk out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I'm not bullshitting. I mean, maybe um, I'm looking too hard, but I saw two people walk out, and I kept my eyes open. They, they come back in. They didn't show back up ever again. Mm-hmm. Maybe the babysitter called or something. You know, yeah. I don't know. But you, if you, you might hear some controversy about that. Um, from a dramatic standpoint, I really like uh, what was the guy that played Druig? Oh, uh, Barry Keog- Keoghan. Barry Keoghan, yeah, man. Let's see. If I... Oh, Keoghan. Yeah, he's a. Uh, is, he a is he Scottish or uh, he, uh, Irish? He's, he's he's something that speaks what is supposed to be English. And it sounds like nothing I ever heard before. It's, you know, everything, Carmen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? Yeah, he, he, and he says it with determination. So I was like, well, he, he means what he says. I just wish I knew what it was. 
I like his character. He brought tension to the group. You know, I thought that there was a good dynamic in, behind the characters that they wrote. Even if the characters always didn't do a lot for the movie, I thought that, you know, either they did a lot for the movie or I, I liked the motivation behind them. Like the character of Sprite was played by Leah McHugh. You know, she's very young, but she plays, uh, she plays an eternal who is cursed to look young forever. I'm like, well, Celestials, they definitely. You, you know, I'm yeah. like, well, they trolled you. I'm like, why would you? Why would you do that? Yeah, there was one. Like, what? What was the purpose of that? We got any, but there's some points here where, where, the team, they, 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 they do come across the team here. They come across like a Captain Planet diversity checklist. Dude, <laughs> this whole movie is a is a is a diversity checklist. Yeah, it's almost like they say like, wait, so. Black Panther, you you guys like that, okay? And Shang Chi, all right. So and Captain Marvel, all right, all right. You know what? Hey, uh, diversity. This is what you want. Tell you what, one of each race. Yeah, yeah. Females. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, sexual. Prof uh, they got, they, so they got uh, black, gay? Asian, gay, empowered female, handicapped. Yep, Shit, handicapped. They, e they even cover ageism in a way. And different body types. Yeah. Yep. Uh, body positive too. And guess who was the fat one? <laughs> well, Angle, two. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Guess who the guess who the big ones are? Uh, here's a hint. Ain't the white ones. <laughs> no, that's for the sexy body types. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ain't that some shit? You yeah, I know. <laughs> and not that the Asian dude, Don Lee. Not that he's fat. He's actually very muscular. He's just kind of big bone in a way. <laughs> big bone. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> they, they, like they, they made sure everybody got some. Who come on up? It's like a soup kitchen of representation. Uh huh. Yep. Which, bowl <laughs> which, which one you want? You want black, brown? Yeah, like they say, like okay, after that whole Doctor Strange, the Ancient One controversy, we are making sure nobody can talk any yeah. shit about this movie. And I ain't gonna say it's, in, it's, in, it's influenced by Black. Pa well, maybe Black Panther, but definitely not by Shang Chi because this was made. No, oh, I being know. Made a while back. I know. And. I, Look, I don't have a problem with diversity. I don't, you know, I, you know, my problem is when, you know, you talk about diversity and I'm not saying that this has to be and I can't talk about the studio that made Black Panther too bad. I know, I know that. But you know, I always have this whole thing of where, you know, the diversity, but hey, we're going to be led by the typical type, mm -hmm. which is always mm -hmm. going to be, you know, the, the almost the, the, blandly the, the, handsome uh, yeah. white dude. Yeah. You know, that's something where I was like, all right, now, hooray for diversity. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> now I'll take your head to the back. <laughs> I, look, but I don't mind diversity, man. Of course, look, I can't say that when everybody's talking about I want to be seen and when everybody's seen, all of a sudden I'm going to complain about it. You know, I can't do that. Uh, we can actually get to that point where it, it works fine. And listen, uh, yes, I have a little bit of problem how, how we continue certain traditions, but it's cool to see. A handicapped person be part of the team, uh, like the deaf chick uh, Makari, played by Lauren Ridloff. Even though, again, it has to go back to, well, if y'all are gods, give this woman some hearing. <laughs> you know this. If y'all yeah. are gods, bring, make this woman. Can, can you make her at least eighteen so she can legal so she get a drink, get a drink and meet somebody? Mm. You know, if y'all gods, at this point, that means you were just people. Yeah. But I do. But like I said, listen, it's a superhero movie. I'm, I'm maybe the most basic thing with it as far as what appeals to me. I love just seeing them work together. And it's cool to see, again, a handicapped person out there doing that thing. He'd be super yeah. nice. <laughs> But then again, the Flash does it all the time, so I well, can't the, say the, anything. The Flash has the speed force that, that, that protects him and, the, and whoever he's with. She's a god. She has the force, too. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> because one to me is what we were talking about earlier is uh, the character of, and I'll pull up right here, the character of Cersei. Sir, I forgot the actress's name. Gemma Chan. Gen yeah. I think she's the weakest one to me, man. She's got almost like the weakest power. She just turned things into rose petals and stuff. But also, <laughs> the character is just. She's she has the, the least to do. She's there at moment, mainly to be part uh, of. Really, um, I felt she had close to the most screen time. That's what I'm saying. Most. She had the most screen time, but a lot of it is just to be, you know, romantic. You know, bring the romantic drama to this. I I I didn't hate the character. I'm just saying I just 
I felt like uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on with that character. I, the one I, the, the the characters that I actually like, and I like the dynamic between them. Uh, let me see if I can find them here. It was, uh, oh, where are they? There it is. It was uh, Angelina Jolie as uh, Thina. Thina, and Don Lee as Gilgamesh. Uh, she, when I say you, they brought age into it, so. Listen, this is where it's, you know, sometimes the story don't make any sense. Like, she has some disease, and they mention it, and I don't even know what the hell it is. They mention it, and they just move on. <laughs> it's all, it's superhero Alzheimer's. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of, like, getting up and falling all over the place, she gets up and tries to beat the shot at everybody. <laughs> and Gilgamesh has to take care of her. So he's like a person trying to take care of someone with Alzheimer's. And I like that. You know, the way, what it comes down to, the movie works best when the characters are working together, when... They're coming back together when they're, you know, dealing with each other, giving us the kind of Marvel feeling of putting a team together. I think that's when the movie works best. And sometimes that's enough to look past the story for myself. And, uh, and then sometimes it was not. It was not, man. I have a lot of problems with this movie, but it didn't make me dislike the movie like the polarizing, polarizing way it is for people. Um, and, again, I'm not saying this because I'm trying to go against people out there who dislike it. I kept watching it and thinking, like, I recognize the flaws here, but I am enjoying myself with this. You know, it's kind of the same way I watched Shang-Chi, and I had my criticisms with that, but I still overall enjoyed it, you know? And that's how I kind of feel with this. It's that Marvel movie where it's not their best, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's by far the worst, man. I had a good time in a lot of this right here. All right, you know, you calm down. You, no, man, no. You're you, you all being I, all defensive. See, and, you all <laughs> judging me, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm like the Celestials. I have to decide whether you get to continue to live or not. <laughs> no, I don't care what people think. No, it's not that. I, I, like I said, I think, and I, I, I know you have some criticisms, and I respect the criticism that people have with it. I see those criticisms. The only one that I really, really had a problem with is when people said, I don't see this as a Marvel movie. Okay. Which is like, I don't understand that. But the other criticism that people have with it, I, you know, I get it, man. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know if you were done. No, you, well, you, I, you, you had a lot to get off your chest. Well, you get interjected any time, but there were times you paused, and I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and keep going. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I mean, you're having a good time. Um, and I, I'm kind of surprised that people are divided on this movie since we spent a whole year being told that this was going to be the greatest and the best Marvel movie of all time. It was going to break new ground and, and set new standards. But for the most part, uh, I thought the writing was super bland. The characters, rather than having personalities, they had accents. Um, so much of what they do, I was like, well, this is cute and all, but I've seen it before. You guys don't really seem world-weary. You're, you're doing a lot of tell but not show, uh, especially with the love story. Um, yeah, so much of it, I was just like, this is just kind of like, it's like somebody who doesn't know how these things work, I, this, this genre. I, I didn't really find these characters that fun. Um, for the most part, I, I I was just like, man, I wish they had some personality, something I could get behind. I was I wasn't I couldn't say I was bored, but at the same time, I was just never really riding with it. There's so many missed opportunities of what they could have done with these characters, but also there's just so many of them that you, they don't really develop them much past what you see. I mean, and you know, it's a, it's a good while, what like an hour and a half before the big you know, sort of twist is revealed. And by that time, I was like, well, I guess. I'm not getting a strong connection or a raison d'etre of why I should be following these people. And I wanted to like it. I mean, it's a good looking movie. And like you said, the cinematography is good. But after a while, it's just like, yeah, but I can't connect to it. And that's, and that lack of connection, that's been a problem with the Eternals throughout yeah. their comics. They, none of their series ever last long because, you know, they're, they're gods, and it's just it, it's hard to relate to them uh, after a while. It's it's really funny how in every one of their comics they're always so passionate, and here there's such a lack of passion. Um, when you get to the end, it just felt like oh, so this was really all just set up for the next thing. Well, that, that, you know what all these. No, 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 no. Most of them do have an ending, and then after that in the post-credit, it's just like, ah, but this is coming up later. But this, at its end, before the post-credits, just felt like, oh, so you just got me here just to kind of get me ready for whatever's coming next. 
Yeah, I you know I feel like a lot of Marvel movies do that, but you know I I tell you what my problems are with this. So one of the things they do here is they jump from place to place, time to time, and they do that so much in the movie where it's like I put it together in my head. I was like, y'all could have streamlined this into one continuous narrative, man. You didn't have to like go that one moment we in Alaska. One moment I think that we out in the woods. No, we back in time. <laughs> you know, one moment we, we we've gone back to hanging out with, with the with the with conquistadors. And I'm like, okay, you know what? You didn't have to. This could have been very much streamlined, and probably cut back on time had you made this one. A continuous lot of movies story. have been doing that. Lately. A lot of movies and, and it disrupts that. their flow. Y'all ain't the Godfather. All yeah. right, y'all don't need to. Y'all need yeah. to do that. Uh, you know, uh, the. The villains in this are generic to right to downright confusing sometimes. Mm-hmm. The the villains in here are not are really are like you said they're nothing but. I thought the villains were weak, man. And again, you know I think movies need to be careful with when you have superhero films, especially when you just have CG forces. Yeah, not these. Th- Space lizards, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they fight. They fighting space lizards, and these space lizards start doing shit that I don't even know. I like I didn't I didn't know what what was happening after a while. I was like, what happened with these villains at this point? Now I'm confused because you didn't explain shit with this. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those movies where the villains and the heroes at times just pull out new powers. No, there was a there was there's a mutation, there's a evolution or something, and I, and I was like, okay, nobody's gonna explain what the. <laughs> this thing just gonna walk off with some new legs and shit. We, oh, okay. <laughs> we, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. You're not gonna. Okay. Cool. That's that's fine. Whatever you say. It ain't dense. You just ain't telling people to me <laughs> right. sometimes. Uh, if you're not following closely, and even and this is a, this is one of those movies where Marvel has a climax problem, where it's like you know we did all this shit and then we get to the climax and oh this big thing that we were supposed to be taking care of this got. It's got very little expl- explanation to the lead up. By the, if you're not paying attention, by the time you get to the end, you're not gonna really care. By the time I got to the end, I did not really care about what was going on with this climax right here. And they had a turn of events that happened like that. It, it, yeah, it's like it's real slow, and then suddenly they go like, "Oh shit, we only got 20 minutes left." And it's presented out of time too, so that's another thing where it's like this would have had more impact had this been presented in a linear fashion. Just my opinion. That's all. Uh, some character motivations could have been introduced better, uh, especially near the end. Yeah. Selma Hayek, she's supposed to be the she's supposed she's supposed to be the rock that holds them all together, man. And everybody's supposed to love her, but there was no real emotion behind her and the rest of the team to, for them to feel the, to feel to feel like they do with certain things that happen in the movie. And so I, you know, those are some of the problems that I that, that I saw with it. That that's why I'm saying when I see people. You know, and they talk about the problems that they have. They, that I understand it. Now that being said, it just didn't bring the movie down for me because I was enjoying most of the stuff that I thought did work. Um, you know, I like I said, I I thought the superhero stuff really worked in here, man. For me, you know, I was I, I was having fun with that. The humor worked. I did not feel the two and a half hours. Okay, near the end, near the end, I was like, all right, you know. Wrap it up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I just felt like, just, you know, when people are doing shit, you just go, all right, all right, y'all, stop. Let's go. Come on, get on out of here. Mm. You know, I, I, I felt like that near the end. But uh, I didn't hate it, though. I did not hate this. I actually had fun with this. So, I mean, you know, if we're putting, if, if I don't wanna, I'm not going to take sides with the movie. You know, I have to go with what I liked about it. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I kind of like feel like, I, again, I, I compared this to Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. And people are not gonna like that. Now here's the funny thing about it: people got mad because I didn't like Shang Chi as much as they thought I should like Shang Chi. I gave that, I believe, like a low matinee. I'm gonna give this the same thing I gave Shang Chi because I thought this had problems, but I still enjoyed it. The same criteria that I put Shang Chi on. People are gonna gonna get mad at me because I because I did not dislike this enough, <laughs> even though they're kind of on the <laughs> same level with me both mm-hmm. those movies. But I did enjoy this. I really did. I I, I for all, you know. It's, it, it, I think it's a matter of those those glaring things out there that are that are not really that great in this movie. If, if those way though, if that way the move, if that weighs the movie down for you, then yeah, I get it. For me, I love the characters in here, most of them, not all, and I, because I love the way that they interact with each other. I love the humor that was going on in that, and that's what took me through the film. So yeah, it's a it's a low matinee for me. 
uh, I wish I could be there with you because I, you know, sat there through the whole thing wanting to I have. Be there just, with me. You just like what you like and don't like. No, what no, you no. Like. I know, I know. But I'm saying, but hearing you talk about it, I go, oh man, I wish I could have got some of that spark. Uh, I didn't a- a have any of that. I'm not going to be somebody who goes around saying I hate it. Uh, but I did, I did very much feel the length. I, I felt like it was spinning its wheels and just, just retelling me a, a story, not the Eternals, but just stories that, that I've seen other places done better, tighter, um, and that, that meant something to me. This one really didn't, and I just, I end up with a, just a rental for it. A big question here is, would I watch it again? I could watch this in parts. Uh, that was my biggest praise for this, man. This is uh, two and a half hours long, and I... And I, I felt like there are certain parts I would love to see again. I don't know if I want to sit through the whole thing, but I, I would watch a lot of this again. Now, I will say this. They got to the point now where no matter how long a movie is, Marvel holds your ass hostage. Yes. These movies might as well get some duct tape and wrap you to the chair. Yep. Waiting for those stingers. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Now, if, you, if you're a, a light Marvel person, you know, you watch the movies, but you never read the books. Now, I include myself in some of this. I don't know every bit of Marvel lore in the comic books. Uh, they got two stingers. And they, they, they are deep cuts. Well, they got two stingers here, and one of them, one of them like, all right, I know that only because I just read up on that not too long ago, and I heard something about it, and I heard it might end up being here. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. They had another one where I looked at it like, okay, who is <laughs> this? <laughs> What the? Okay, all right. Never heard of this dude. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, no. That 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 character, even though they you know they hide it. When he first mentioned his name, I was like, I wonder if. And then I was like, huh. The way he's acting. And then sure enough, I'm like, of course. No, people, you gonna have. I'm gonna tell you something. At the end of the movie, sit up here with Wikipedia ready to be open, <laughs> so you can look and see who the who is this. <laughs> Cause I remember I, had, I I was feeling kind of smart. There was a there was a woman in front of me, mm-hmm. and she said I I don't understand that. And I, and I was like, oh well, that person is this right here, and this is what they're going to do in some of the other movies, and and you can look forward to them interacting with these characters over here. And then she was like, that's cool. Now who's that other person? Like, Shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Wikipedia page over. You want to see it? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, divided right here, and I think that that's what that's what you're gonna see with a lot of people yeah, out there. Yeah, you know? yeah. And even then, I don't think that. Well, we're not at each other's throats. No, I, I ain't man. I ain't I ain't going at no nobody's throat. I know. You come at me, bro. <laughs> I ain't I ain't doing nothing. Oh, you like that shit? <laughs> I ain't doing. I ain't, I ain't fighting nobody on no goddamn venom, and I ain't fighting nobody on the turtles over here. <laughs> I ain't fighting nobody over a goddamn magical paper boy right here, Tyree Henry. I ain't fighting nobody in it over that. <laughs> magical paper boy. Yeah, yeah. I ain't fighting nobody over some people beating up space lizards. No, I ain't. I'm not doing that, man. No, no.